up you guys gossip girl here let's jump right into the video guys so kim k is in hot water again by this time you know she just needs a new pr team because this is getting out of hand so apparently she's been sued again this time by this homegirl named sydney so sydney you know she has launched her new beauty concept line yep and now you know she want to sue kim because they have the same name under skkn so she want to sue kim for trademark infringement <laughs> when i tell y'all when i tell y'all kim has lost her shits kim has lost her shits it's like you can't tell her nothing from she part from you know from she passed her bar exam ain't nobody can tell her nothing so apparently you know sydney the owner of the beauty line she contacted kim guys she contacted kim before kim launched you know the skk and beauty concept whatever and guess what kim did kim and her team they ignored Sydney's request and they just released the line anyway. Now tell me who the hell does Kim think she is? Who the hell are you, Kim? Now y'all tell me if y'all remember when little Miss Kimmy was about to launch, you know, her skims line, her clothing line, you know, um, I think it's bra underwear, etc. Yep. She originally called it Kimono. I hope y'all remember this. She originally called it kimono, and you know she was criticized for cultural appropriation. <laughs> this was over the initial name of the shapewear brand. So you know she has changed the name, child. Now she has changed it to Skims. I mean, where is her manager? Where where's the PR team? I don't know. Kim just she does whatever she wants. At this point, I believe Kim does whatever she wants because she believes that she is Kim K. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. <laughs> it's a little missy. A little missy. Lori Harvey. She seems to be mad. I don't know why she's mad, y'all. I don't know why she's mad. But she's out there throwing all kind of shades. You know, she's probably jealous. Jealous that her ex boo thing. <laughs> that they're fine. That they're fine thing, Michael. Come on, man. I mean, I mean, I'll be mad too. But anyways, guys, she is mad that homeboy is allegedly moved on to his ex. And you know, Miss Laurie, she's out there doing the most. She is out there doing the most. When I tell y'all, homegirl is mad. She is mad. Now, you wasted Michael's time. You should have let him know you not just want to hit and leave, hit and leave. Why would you sit and waste this boy's time? Why would you sit and waste this boy's time and you make a year pass and then let him know that you're not ready to commit? Child, you are wasting people's time. So she's out there throwing shades like I told y'all. So y'all, this is what she posted. So guys, Wendy Williams is ready to return. Y'all, this time she'd be starting her own podcast. And you know that's going to be her money, her money, her money. Make your coins, girl. Ain't nobody mad. So y'all, it sounds like, you know, Wendy has been doing her homework. Because, you know, she said, when you're famous, podcasts will make more money. <laughs> she said being famous is she actually said you know it would make her more money than she made on the show you know wendy williams allegedly cha. so she made it clear that she's 100 percent retired she's 100 percent retired from tv show so ain't no way ain't no way she's going back and you know creating the next wendy williams show part two although you know she doesn't know when she's gonna start she already have some guests in mind and guess who's guess guess guys guess who one of her guests will be <laughs> kim k now wendy if you ever come across my video before you start your podcast can you please ask kim k what in the hell is she doing who the hell does she think she is tell her to slow her roll down and before she out there launching anything tell her to do her research Tell her to do her research, Wendy. Ciao. So apparently, Ken is feeling under the weather. He has reported that, you know, he is in a hospital. Y'all, 
Even though he didn't go into details, this is what he had to say. So Ken said, hopefully the last sad update and then things get better. I have a bacteria infection, he said, growing in my bloodstream. No idea how the bacteria got there, but I've begun the antibiotics for it. Happy I got to the hospital when I did. It's sort of an uphill battle now, likely staying a few days. <laughs> Ciao. Then he made another post. He said, small update. They're in here trying to figure out what is wrong with me. He said he's staying overnight. But it looks like, you know, he's staying more than one night. He said, appreciate everybody sending prayers. Then he said, it's crazy how life can go from so good to so chaotic in one day. It's like you never know. You never, never know. Anyways, guys, let's also wish him, you know, a speedy recovery. <laughs> when I tell y'all, Travis and Courtney, they just got married, had this beautiful little shenanigans in Italy, and they can't even catch a break. I mean, Courtney, you know, she previously said they were taking a break from doing, you know, the little shebang bang with the little dang a lang. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because, you know, the doctor told her to drink Travis semen. Please don't ask me. Don't ask me. Go and ask Courtney. Go and ask Courtney. <laughs> but the reason why she's busy drinking Travis semen she said it's because you know these two are in hopes of having another child and they're trying to stay away from doing the shebang bang mm -hmm. so you guys i'm telling you i don't know if that's the reason why you know travis is in the hospital probably he's dehydrated i don't know guys i don't know but the real reason behind of this is still unknown but anyways guys let's just wish him you know a speedy recovery when I tell y'all my subscribers are sick and when they're not sick, they are sick and tired of me. They are sick and tired of me. They're done with my shits. They are done with my shits for saying, honey, chow. You know, I'm going to take advantage now. Honey, chow. Yep. So I'm a limit. I'm a limited purpose. If y'all heard in this video, I didn't even mention it. I did not even mention it. I did not even mention it. So, you guys, I mean, I promise I'm a limited. I'm a limited. So, when I tell you I'm going to shout out these three subscribers right now, this is what they had to tell me. This is what they had to tell me, y'all. Eve Lang, and if I'm pronouncing your name right, she said, please stop with the honey child. So many are unnecessary and jeering. I don't know what jeering means. She said, but everything else is good. So, shout out to you, Miss Lang. Shout out to you. Johnny Blaze said, Can you say honey child anymore? With a three exclamation mark. So you know he's 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 mad. He's up to his shits right now. He said, OMG after every word is honey child. Then he ends with LOL. Shout out to you, Johnny Blaze. I'ma stop. I'ma try. I'ma try, Johnny. <laughs> Listen to Heather. Heather Hansen said, why do you keep saying honey child after every sentence? I felt that, Heather. I felt that. <clears throat> I'm going to stop. I'm going to try. Anyways, you guys, Gossip Girl checking out. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Love you guys. Peace.